How long do you think it's gonna stay on there for? <laughs> it's like spin the bottle except with a skeleton. Oh, now you have to kiss me. Hello and welcome to the spooktacular Halloween episode of, uh, is it a show? We're making a pumpkin hovercraft. Oh, look at that, it's 9.30. We are making a pumpkin hovercraft to compete in a combat robot competition that is an hour and a half drive away and it starts in 12 hours. I don't think this will take too long. Here's our other ingredients. G gently. Speed control, motor, propeller. And a vacuum cleaner. This isn't the cheapest vacuum we could find because I didn't want it to suck. Is this gonna be the first corded hovercraft? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> Are you serious? Who sells a corded version of this? <laughs> I literally searched for cordless vacuum. This is what I clicked on. Okay, quick question. Is this a corded or a cordless vacuum cleaner? Uh, I would assume that it's, it's cordless. Right? This is a corded vacuum cleaner. My research sort of stopped right there. Ah, uh, the third picture down. Yeah, There's so. All right, well, let's go see if it runs on DC power. <laughs> that's what you guys came yeah. That's what you're doing right well, now. Well, we just need like a respectable opinion, a, a second opinion. I, Sorry. I'm about to have a meltdown. <laughs> that looks like a bridge rectifier. Actually, this thing, we might be in luck. This thing might totally run on DC power. We're in the garage. This place is a disaster. We're trying to build workbenches and stuff, but we're really good at procrastinating. We have two wires coming out of it. One of them looks like a temperature sensor, maybe? I have a bad feeling that no matter what we do, this isn't gonna work. It is just, oh! Oh my God, it works! <laughs> what a relief. This motor basically is not wired for the kind of voltage we're gonna use. If we use this setup for the shopping cart, where is that adapter cable? Hopefully this doesn't explode, that'd be bad. <laughs> now we're talking. Hold it? Yeah. That's where the suck is, but that's Where's where the, the that's the blow. Like, look at that, it's confetti. You can cut confetti with this knife. We're gonna cut pumpkins with it. I'm gonna use this big scary one. Hey, I'm gonna take that from you. The plan is cut the bottom off, put the cordless vacuum motor into the pumpkin, and the base forms a seal with a smooth surface. It's not gonna work on like a bumpy surface. We're gonna use these motors that, I cannot remember his name, he also sent the jank stickers. We're gonna use these, and these propellers. I've done a terrible job preparing for this. And I'm going to pay for it, this whole video. Where should we cut, like right there? Does that feel right? So far, a pretty bad cut. We just need like a giant belt sander. Is this, there's a name for this, right? It's like la lapping, is that the right word? Nothing to see here! Just grinding my pumpkin into the sidewalk. Hey, it looks, it looks pretty good. I think we need a little more. All right, that's good enough. Oh, dude, we can make pumpkin pie. Let's try to use the shop back to see what kind of lifting force or what kind of pressure is required. Oh, child. <laughs> <laughs> he did. It's not, I mean, it's not bad. The pumpkin you eat is a different type of pumpkin. Like, this is not it. I just like kind of dry and sad. Oh no. It's <laughs> <laughs> vibrant. I bet that's why they use flexible materials on hovercrafts. The skirt yeah. to eat those, to dampen that. Yeah. Let's just stick it in. Yeah, but it like doesn't move smoothly. Hey dude. Hey wait, come back. You wanna see our pumpkin hovercraft? It's uh, a lot worse than I thought it was gonna be. And it does this like oscillation thing. But none of the motor driver, the DC motor drivers can handle anything more than 3S. So we would have to like, I've been practicing using Fusion 360 because SolidWorks 
won't answer my emails. We are modeling a little T, which is going to be a mount for the propellers. And that is gonna happen right now. CNC time! This is like calm jazz music. Yeah, well, it's, this is like a calmer music. Kind of weird. Somehow, with more space, we end up more disorganized. Everything just explodes out. I yeah. Know, I don't know if Cameron and Don was like pan around and maybe look at the rest of the shop well, for a second, or I wouldn't call it a shop. Well, there's a lot of things. A there's a lot of things we've been meaning to do that we just like haven't gotten to yet. It's a lot of work to set this what? up. <laughs> this is the. This what? <laughs> I had to get away from the pumpkin what? with the propellers. The propellers. The propellers are really long. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Oh wow, that's. Oh, that's got some oh. flex. Wow. Who designed oh. that part? Oh no. I'm sorry. Is there something wrong with this? Uh, it kind of hits go. the pumpkin a little bit. Well, it's okay. It'll just. It'll, it'll like carve it. a channel. It'll carve a channel. Hate you so much. All right, we're on our way to not the robot competition because. Nobody woke up. <laughs> Not that it matters though, because it didn't work anyways. Is this Savior's? Yeah. We're gonna try to buy a cordless vacuum cleaner so we can get a motor that runs at a lower voltage. Wait, this was the next street. This is Oxnard Boulevard. Yeah, it's the same thing. Oh. Please have cordless vacuums. Please have cordless vacuums. I know this is against the rules, but not getting ripped off twice. I see no cord. Yeah, but I don't trust it until I've pulled it out of the box and looked. You wanna see a magic trick? Hurry up, put this on. One, two, three. I'm a banana. The, uh, this one doesn't have a self-contained duct, so we gotta cut it out. <laughs> hey, Morgan. What? Potassium. 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 Dude, we didn't even need to fight a competing combat robot. We were able to destroy ourselves single-handedly. It sucks so bad! Really? Where did it all go so wrong? Um, do you want me to really tell you, or...? Sure. Oh, the pumpkin. Change of plans. We're putting a skirt on the pumpkin. The point of a skirt on a hovercraft is to provide this like air cushion, which we don't have when you have like a rigid skirt. You could go look up hovercraft videos if you really care. I'm probably botching the explanation. I actually used to be like a huge hovercraft nerd as a kid. That was like my, still have my RC ho or hovercraft somewhere. <laughs> Looking at pictures of hovercrafts, I've noticed one thing is pretty consistent. They're always wider than they are tall. <laughs> I think we might have inherent design flaws. Too much weight and too much weight high up. And even if you put more pressure, it seems to like not help that much. I kind of want to see what Peter thinks. Basically make the skirt, make a profile, make a stiffener skirt thing at the bottom because that will really keep it flopping over pretty easy just try it you'll you'll probably make it work it should be not hard okay thanks peter pumpkin bot 2.0 is driving me insane we're gonna lighten it up i'm gonna i'm gonna cut it i'm gonna carve it and we're just gonna come back when it works i think we're at like 70 gigs of video oh no we've already got mold come back in a second it's way more stable. It just needs to be significantly shorter. The weight's not even an issue. How do we make it suck less? <laughs> it's so bad. Um, I don't. I honestly don't know what to do. I'm really happy that it works in any way, shape, or form. Oh, what is happening? What is happening? Wait, Michael, what's happening? What happened? They just took off. It did one drop before the other. So they kind of just took off at the same did time. They the same, did they land the same they time? They just went up and then just like fell. Did they land at the same time? Yeah. Why didn't, did you sleep last night? Nope.
We swapped to a different pumpkin carcass. This one's less carved out, so it's more rigid. And I think it totally works. Going straight is kind of difficult, but. Oh, look, we're leaving a snail trail. I'm gonna be honest, if I was like six years old and my dad took me to Radio Shack and we bought this and I came home and was playing with it right now, I'd be sorely disappointed. But I think all that really matters is it kind of works. What do you think, Michael? Is it, is it like the effort that counts or is it the application that's more important? What's happening? Thanks, I appreciate your input. He says, uh, what's happening? For you, Michael. I'm coming for you. <laughs> Just give me one second. Damn it, why can't I go straight? You better watch out. I'm gonna totally cut your leg off. Go forward. It kinda smells like burnt vacuum motor. It smells really burnt. What time? Oh, you didn't go to bed. Michael didn't go to bed last night. That's not normal. It's unhealthy. It's not right. You're not supposed to do that. Screw you, pumpkin hovercraft. <laughs> Well, thanks for watching. If you want to support us on Patreon, there's, there's a link in the description. It helps us, you know, eat. And the winner of the tray we're giving that away is, oh, I should have picked this one before. Let's go. Okay, click the button below to pick a winner. Pick random winner. And the random winner is Nick Tanius. Nick Tanius. We'll see you next time. Oh, and check out Morgan's channel in the description.